So here we have a circuit um, to, to try and measure the movement of fingers by optical method. So we have an infrared LED in the center and phototransistors on the sides. Now we, have, we are using uh, four phototransistors and two infrared LEDs. This data from phototransistors is being fed to uh, the operational amplifier circuit shown here. Now this circuit firstly filters out the DC, uh, any DC noise, any DC signal that comes through and then it has, it's a band pass operational amplifier and after the amplification it sends the signal to uh, NIDAC here. The NIDAC then takes it over through the, uh, to the MATLAB and MAT. And this is a, a view of our GUI that we have that runs the entire operation. We are actually in the middle of the calibration process in which we train it, uh, the different movements that we wanted to recognize. Um, so we'll go ahead and start uh, data collecting for the last movement, which is just moving uh, one's thumb. Okay, so this goes on for 45 seconds. Now we'll go up here and look at the, at the traces off the four. Now, once you acquire data on each of the motions, then you're doing a principal components analysis? That is correct. So we collect data of a repetitive motion um, for 45 seconds. And after the 45 seconds is uh, collected, we do principal coordinate analysis on each of those sets to determine that analysis, uh, or the transformation matrix. And that transformation matrix is used and applied to incoming new data to uh, rotate uh, and change a coordinate frame in order to see which uh, movement is closest to the new incoming data. Okay, so start the net. So the, now this is the still calibration, right? Correct. And so Manish is sitting here with no motion, and what we're seeing up here on the trace is his uh, blood pressure waveform because, because the infrared is also a, a pulse plethysmograph. And now, how do you classify? You 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 have a you have a series of 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 principal components. Then you just go for nearest neighbor. If you if you get a new motion, you go for the for the for the for the motion that's closest. So uh, we actually do two things. Uh, first, we um, apply the, the principal coordinate uh, transformation and find uh, the minimal uh, standard deviation between the different uh, principal axes. And uh, once that is complete, we actually use heuristics uh, and record the last 20 seconds worth of data. Um, I'm sorry, last 10 seconds worth of data uh, and all of the assumed movements. And for uh, the GUI to display that it thinks it is actually a particular movement, over half of the past 10 seconds has to be a particular movement. So for example, if you're doing uh, a ring finger movement, then over uh, five seconds worth of data has to be uh, attributed to the ring finger movement before any attribution is made in the GUI. Okay, so it's calibration complete now. So now are you ready for some data acquisition? So we have different display modes. Um, we can go ahead and start it for five seconds. And this is continuous data collection. Um, there's some a bit of a transient in the beginning where uh, means are removed and uh, things are sorted out. But this is what it looks like in steady state. So right here, this is just uh, the bathysmograph and uh, just the, the waveform. As you can see in the upper left-hand corner, the green background indicates that it uh, has a positive match on that uh, movement, which is nothing, uh, and displays that there. Okay, so now now make a motion. So now you're doing index finger motion, and we're seeing quite a large... So it's going to average over five seconds. So it averages over, or it looks at the last 10 seconds of data. Oh, okay. And it needs at least five seconds worth of finger movement, uh, index finger movement, uh, for it to actually display index finger. So it got a red on there, which meant it didn't identify? 
or or that there is a mixture of gestures in I there, see. and nothing okay. has over fifty percent confidence. Okay. Okay, got a pinky there for a moment. Okay, I'm gonna need to stop. <laughs> 